Hello everybody, my name is Periwinkle and today I just want to say Happy New Year to you guys. Um, it's the January 1st, the January 1st, not just any January 1st. Wow, I can't talk. So a New Year's resolution is basically a goal you have for the year and how you're gonna change your life and of course, you know, I don't really believe in like changing your life fully or anything like that. It's just I want to improve myself. Not just a new year new me, but a new year improved me. I have some resolutions for the new year. I think a lot of people do this, or like most people. And if not, that's okay. But I just have some resolutions that I want to share with you guys to kind of put it out in the universe so you guys kind of know what angle I'm going for this year and how to make 2019, you know, my best year based on, you know, my past experiences. So I have 10 resolutions for 2019 that I'm going to share with you guys. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first one is to drink more water. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it will help. Water is like the life flow of all of us. You drink a lot and you'll be able to, you know, clear out some body functions. You'll be able to have a better life, basically, and it helps you lose weight, too. So the more water you drink, the better. So I'm going to hopefully up my water intake a little bit. Next is to read more books. I've had so many friends, you know, read books, and they're all, all obsessed with them, and I want to really try to read more and delve more into fictional universes and stuff like that. So I want to go, and I want to finish Twilight and then hop onto more books, and I don't know, Maybe get some recommendations from Josh. I don't know, but I really do want to read more. Next one is to put myself first a bit more. It's an extremely unhealthy mindset when you're doing everything else for other people. I want to be able to do self-care and not be like, I'm doing this to appease someone or I'm doing this to look better. I want to put myself first and be able to do that and say, I'm doing this because it makes me feel better. I want to be able to have that mindset where... I don't have to do everything for other people. I can do some stuff for myself sometimes. Next um, is to spend more time with real friends, as I call them. Um, I have so many amazing friends in my life, and I'm so glad I took them into 2019 with me. I had an amazing night last night with my friends. It was awesome, and I'm so glad I get to take some of them into 2019 with me. And there's also some fake people in my life. I really, I don't want to cut them out entirely because I don't know how that'll affect them, but. Um, I just want to be able to spend more time with those real friends who actually care about me for me and not just what I have or be around me just because it's the nice thing to do or something like that. I want to be with my actual friends who care about me and I care about them. Next is to hang out with my grandparents more because um, my great-grandfather, he's 99, um, I have two grandparents, a grandmother on my mom's side, a grandfather on my dad's side, and I want to be able to hang out with them more because if you don't know, it's just really hard for me with my losing my grandparents uh, two years ago. It just, it sucks because you never know when they're going to go, so I want to be able to spend as much time with them as possible. Next is to do what makes me happy and not do stuff that's going to stress me out or what I think is for progress. I have this unhealthy addiction to progress. I love moving forward. I love being able to say this is just to progress everything. Um, but that can be so unhealthy sometimes. And um, an example of this is that I am, was taking a biology dual credit this semester. And if I would have taken that along, I'm working basically every day after school. Um, I have many other AP and honors classes. If I were to take that class, I would be so swamped with work because it just would have destroyed me. I would have been so stressed, I don't think I would have been able to do it. So I'm switching out of that class and going into a class that's going to make me happy, and that is choir. I may regret it in the long run, but I know if I don't do that, my mental health is going to be extremely, extremely ravaged and I really want to be able to preserve myself and be able to be good and not worry about all this stress and stuff like that. <laughs> this one, um, it's going to be really hard and it's to keep my room and car clean. Um, I'm cleaning up my room right now. I'm taking all my Christmas decorations down, but um, it's really struggle to keep everything clean nowadays. I don't know why. I'm just terrible at it. So my goal is to definitely just keep everything clean and because apparently like a clean living space, whether it be your car or your room, just helps promote happiness. So we're going to go for that. This one I read online, I didn't come up with it like originally, but it says change the words I have to to I get to. 
Um, so in your everyday statements where it's like, I have to do homework, it's change it to, I get to do homework. And you begin to think how lucky you are in life because a lot of kids don't have education and we often don't realize how lucky we are to have education. Um, change, I have to go to work to, I get to go to work. I get to be able to make money and be able to sustain myself, you know? Just change those and you'll have an amazing look on life. And I'm really gonna try to start doing that. Okay, this next one is a lot less serious than the other ones and it's to finish Supernatural on Netflix. I'm on season nine and I've been putting it off because I'm trying to watch all my YouTube videos but my goal this year is to finish Supernatural on Netflix. I definitely think I can do it. I'm gonna try my best. I really hope I can so I can just you know start watching the new seasons and stuff like that so that's a big goal. And the last resolution I have is to meditate more. So I actually bought some crystals recently and I'm hoping I can really meditate with them in a not like too spiritual way just to be able to relax. I believe in meditation not as a spiritual way but as a um, way to relax. So not as, you know, Buddha, stuff like that. I view it as a relaxation technique for anxiety and depression. So that's how I use it and I think it's an amazing technique. I do both guided med meditation and, you know, just regular sitting down thinking. Um, for guided meditation, I do definitely recommend Headspace. I think that's the app I have. Yes, it's Headspace. Um, Headspace is an awesome app, especially for sleep meditation. So if you ever want to, you know, relax and do some meditation for your anxiety, I definitely recommend that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like down below and subscribe. Tell me what your guys' resolutions are in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye!